What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zay. Um in today's video, we have a bit of an issue and they no, it's not with the FRS. Um it's with the Cabriolet, the Volkswagen, the V-Dub. Um huge shout out to Night Mob. This is a old t-shirt. I don't even know if the brand's still around, but I figure we're going to start this thing where when I'm in a video, I'm wearing car related stuff. We're gonna shout out the brand and go from there. But in today's video, we're gonna be replacing, I believe it's called a coolant flange. Um, what happened was the Cabrillo left me stranded a couple times over the weekend. And it seems like that the flange is cracked and coolant, and a freeze, whatever you wanna say, is just dumping out. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and swap that out. And I also got some stickers for you guys, so stay tuned. What's up, G? Hi. What's up, G? Oh, all right. If you guys don't know, G has like what 4.2 million subscribers. G's a young YouTuber. He's out here, like he says, he's doing this and doing mm -hmm. that. How many subscribers do you have? Like 20, I think. Oh, you for real have 20? Probably. Oh, okay. I was just kidding. Move. I gotta do it. All right. So, like I said earlier in the video, I do have some slap stickers for you guys. So, huge shout out to Broken Society and Standard Gang. They sent me a bunch of stuff in. So we have the Broken Society slaps, the Dragon Ball Z edition, the Naruto edition, and then from Standard Gang over here, we have the Heartbreak in Red, Heartbreak in White, and the exclusives as well. I think this is red, maybe? I don't know what color this is, but white and red, and then the Miserable, Lost and Fading, die cut, so I do appreciate it. But I told G, I'd make him a deal. If he helps me fix the Volkswagen today, I'll give you this. Does that sound like a deal? Sound like a deal? All right, so like I said earlier, we did have an issue over the weekend with the Cabrillo. The coolant was leaking from that coolant flange. So right here is what I'm thinking. If you guys can look, first of all, I haven't really done a break breakdown of this car, but this car is 30 years old. I got it less than seven months ago, and it's just what you expect from a little car, a lot of issues. So as soon as you put coolant up here, it's gonna run down and from the coolant flange right here, it's not necessarily coming out of the tube, it's more of coming out of the hose clamp and going opposite direction. So as soon as the antifreeze would go from left to right, it sprays out going left. So I'm thinking that there is a crack in the flange. So if I fix that today, hopefully that's the issue. If not, oh well. But as you guys can see, this car is gonna need some TLC, but that's what exactly what we have coming up for this channel. All right, so we got the intake hose off. We're just gonna throw that there. Uh, probably gonna disconnect most of this just to get down under the hose clamp. And then it should just be fine from there. Oh, we broke some necks. Good. And she's pointing at your car. Good. Thank you, lady. Yo, Zay. What? Look at, <laughs> look at me. Oh, no. Look at, look at me. Fuck you. I don't care anymore. I don't care! Why well, you gotta be so mean? Oh, yeah? Fine. It's yeah. fine. It's yeah? fucking fine. Yeah, fine. That's what you get. A Euro. Car alarm goes off. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> what car? Oh, shit. What? Oh, no! What? Where's the bucket? Where is the bucket? What the fuck? Oh, huge, huge! I found a genius, genius! I found out. Says the guy that boys. threw the boys. tool. Boys, let me see this. Let me see this. Boys, right here. Let me see if I can just. Let me see if I can just get in on there. Boys, do you see how? Do you see that? Oh, crack! Killed it. Not really. What's this do? 
You see, that's your bubble orb. What does this do? And that you see, that's your uh, Ochtung Chispanag. That's what that was that? That's your Ochtung Chispanag. I don't think that's how it's, it's pronounced. I definitely didn't. What is this? What? What kind of, uh, is it? What? Germany? What kind of card is this? Yeah. It's Japanese. This is not Japanese. So the old one is finally out. You have this, as you guys can see, cracked right on top and the hole in the middle. Compared to the Rock Auto brand new one, as that is a 30 year difference. That is disgusting, look at that. So, with both bolts out, I'm gonna put the new ones in, and hopefully it's gonna hold antifreeze. If not, just you a napkin in there. So what you can do is go ahead and get all the old residue and junk, twist around, leave it in there, and then, Go ahead and pull it out, and you're gonna get all that nasty stuff off. But for right now, you're gonna leave the napkin in there, and then get a straight razor right on top, and then kind of just go around in there and get any old residue off. So when you can seal it, you're not gonna have any issues of old gunk and whatever's been sitting there for 30 years. <laughs> all right, there is the new clean hole. Like I said, we came all the way around here, got that straight razor cleaned all that up to the best I can, left the napkin in there, and then we're gonna re-slice this wire and go put a new connector on it before we put it back on there. I do believe it is a ground, but we're gonna go from there. Wow, let's welcome back Papa86 to the vlog because I don't know anything about electrical. What is that, just cutting off the old end? Yep. Boom, hold it. Let's see. Is that it, boy? I'd say so. That's done deal. Boom. All right, so we're going to put the new flange in. Make sure the holes line up. Yep, right there. So the bottom bolt and nut is on. Then we have this bracket that's connecting all the wires. And then over here as well, you have the bolt in there. And then we have to put this connector with the ground wires back. But for right now, we are going to just go here and just put this washer back on. Oh, no. There we go. Put the connector there. Right on top. All right, and the connector is there. Then do the same thing with this one. After you put the washer, put the nut back on. Just hand tightening it, perfect. So if you guys can see, we have the hose that the coolant goes through, and then we have the OEM hose clamp. So we're just gonna gonna get rid of that one. Just gonna just gonna throw it. Over. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna replace that with a new one. And then one that's more convenient. Slide that on there. And then use a, I think it's a quarter socket that's easier to tighten versus 30 year old oh, hose. So we're gonna just slide that back on there. Perfect. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we'll move this. Oh, big hands. And then we'll move the hose clamp more in. And then we will tighten it from the other way. It's hotter than hell, but we have the new coolant flange back on. Right now we're putting the old air intake hose. So we have the seven millimeter deep socket right there. We're putting the intake back on. But like I said before, if you guys can see it, you're gonna have two bolts and nuts, or two bolts, one on top, one on bottom, and then I believe it's four set of nuts. One goes on the inside of the bottom, and then the secondary one goes in to hold the hoses back together. 
in the top one one goes in and then the other one with a washer holds a ground connector but other than that you're gonna have one two three more hose clamps to close with that seven millimeter and then yeah Let's try it up. Oh, what the hell? All right, yeah. And boom, done deal. No more leaks, finally. Why? No. We were so close. Why? Why do you hate me so much? Well, that sucks. So unfortunately, we did fix the first issue, which was the coolant flange, but it, we didn't expect the second issue, which is probably the water pump. It's probably the water pump due to the fact that when all this happened on Saturday and that flange was just leaking out antifreeze, that nothing was probably getting pushed through the water pump to cool down the radiator or put water in the radiator so that it probably seized up where it was leaking antifreeze um i think i have that correct if not correct me in the comment section down below also if you guys do like how in the blog we are working on cars and showing you hands-on stuff go to leave a comment down below as well i would appreciate that um huge shout out again to the Broken Society crew and the Standard Game crew, I do appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing else for this video due to the fact that we have more problems. Um, it's cool though, that's what this car channel is about. Fixing stuff, learning, and going from there. With this being said, always remember no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try and make a difference.